Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Ashley Seaman and I'm here to do a what would I do in Miami look. I should have been in Miami this week for my birthday, but um, me and one of my girlfriends were gonna celebrate early and we were gonna go to Miami, but long story short, I wanted to do a what would I do my makeup like in Miami? Makeup of the day if I was in Miami. <laughs> And this is what I came up with. Oh, she cute. Ooh, hoo, hoo. she bronze. I wanted to try out a couple of different products. Um, basically from Makeup Revolution, I chose their Hydrate and Conceal Concealer, the Translucent um, Setting Powder, and the Revolution Glass Liquid Skin. I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you are planning a trip for after all of this BS or if you have any trips in mind, because it wouldn't make sense, I guess, to plan a trip right now. Maybe it would, I don't know. But if you're going anywhere, let me know. I wanna know, I wanna know how you would do your makeup. Do you like this look? Could you see yourself sipping on some mimosas, Miami Vices, or pina coladas in this look? Or some just ginger beer and pineapple juice? Or maybe a sparkling water with lime? Because listen, I'm about the non-alcoholic drinks too, but. It was my birthday, so I was planning on getting turned. All right, enjoy this video. So if I were on a Miami South Beach, I would be going in with just a touch of makeup, if I'm honest. Let's pretend we are about to go to the beach, but first we're going to brunch and I need to look cute at brunch. So I break out my naturally summery bronzy look. Okay, let's get excited. I tried to fill in my hairline with some brow powder. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Mary. Okay, let's just. <laughs> I was in Miami, I'm wearing a hat, all right? What I'm first gonna do is I'm gonna start off with my brows. Um, I'm gonna just do a nice, night, light, natural brow, and towards the end, I'll finish it off with my brow gel. So I'm gonna go do that, and then I'll just be right back. So now I'm gonna go in with the. Glass Liquid Skin Eliminating Primer. It starts to like get thick along the walls and when you shake it up, it goes away. Uh, I did an awful job of explaining that, but I would just give it a good shake is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so I'm gonna just do a little dollop on each side of my face. Ooh, you cry? It smells so good. Oh man, I wish I had a puffy that like this. I was gonna see if I can get it right between my brows. I mean, I've got a lot of space between my brows, so it's not that hard. Let's not get it into the hairline. You just colored it in. It feels kind of tacky. I feel like I look more illuminated than I did. Also picked up a couple more of these BB creams. There's not much of a difference to me in the formulas. This one's salicylic acid, this one's pomegranate extract. This one has SPF in it. So if I'm going on vacation, summer's coming around, I'm gonna be using these. They're light coverage. They, it feels like I'm not wearing any makeup, which is nice because you're outside in the sun. I got light medium and then medium sheer. I'm gonna go right in with um, my fingers and then blend it out with a sponge. I'm gonna go in with my body blender. I am not frugal with this product. I am very generous because it's, it's pretty much sheer. Cute, baby, cute. I'm gonna start with my Becca under eye corrector. I just take my finger and I focus on the most inner part of my under eye and I just blend it out. I like to sit here and say, I try to use as little product under my eyes as possible, but I try. <laughs> it doesn't always happen, but I try. Now I'm gonna go in with my concealer. This is in the shade C4. Start off with my inner corners. And a touch on here. I'm just, I've just only dipped it in once. I don't know if it sets quickly, I like to conceal my face by sections anyway. Going in with my Morphe sponge. I like to pull it down towards like the top, top of my cheekbones. 
Wow, this is nicely full coverage. Wow, all that took care of all this. That is nice. This has a really nice finish. I like it a lot. For the translucent powder, doo -doo, I'm gonna go in with this brush. Take a note. This has a sifter on top of it. It's a bitch to get off. If you're not careful, your powder will fly everywhere. Because the opening's so small, I'm just gonna put it in my hand. That is dirty. This is a MAC. 127 brush duo fiber on the one side and um, almost like a blending side So I am just gonna pat out any creases I have under here right now And go in with the other side Just in my hand dee -dee -dee. And I'm going in with actually too much powder I might go in with just a touch more. I really want to brighten up this area. As this sits here, I'm going to go in with my bronzer. This this one. I'm going to go right in on my face with it. But I had to set my under eyes first because I just felt like they were really starting to crease up on me. Instead of using a duo fiber brush to blend things out, I've just been wanting to try this. I feel like I see a lot of people using the softer hair brushes to blend things out and well, we're gonna give it a try today. When you're working on your cheekbones, try your best to push up instead of swirling. I get used to wanting to do the swirl. Oh, that looks nice. I'm actually loving this combo of brush and bronzer. This is the Morphe, oh, that's a lie. This is a BH Cosmetics brush in the number five. I'm gonna try to push this into my hairline and down uh, my temples. They say when you highlight towards your temples, you're giving your eye, sure, you're lifting your eye, but it's also highlighting these two parts of your face, your temples, so it's making it look wider. I like to cut that out by uh, taking some contour and bronzer onto the sides of my temple. I try my best to like take the color and push it towards the middle of my nose, and then I can fix like any muddiness down the center of my nose with a little bit more concealer or some highlight. I like to take it up into my uh, brow, connect everything. Okay, so something happened where it's looking like it's really sticking on to any dry patches that I have underneath my eyes. I guess that could have been the brush too. But to fix something like that, I actually learned this from Jaclyn Hill. Go ahead and take some primer oil. I have nothing left in this, barely nothing left in this dropper, just that one little drop. I'm gonna take my Morphe sponge. I'm gonna pounce on that oil for quite a bit until it almost dries up on the back of my hand. I'm just gonna lightly tap underneath my eye in hopes that it's gonna melt away um, whatever issues we're having. Um, I used, well, the lace shade powder before, so I guess it could be the powder. I'm not loving the way that looks, but I also don't hate it. Um, it's not something that's super noticeable to anybody else but me. But the next time I use it, I will go in with uh, 
just a different setting brush, same powder, and I'll try it again another time. But for now, we've done what we could to try to fix it with this primer oil. It definitely looks better than it did. It doesn't look as dry. Um, it's still hanging on there a little bit, but um, it's if it looked that shitty, I, I'd be more concerned and I'm not. I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite bronzers ever. This is the Butter Bronzer. I actually have it in the shade Deep Bronze. Um, I'm also gonna go in with my janky <laughs> Morphe 527 brush. I haven't been able to use this bronzer because I haven't had a tan on what I feel like since summer. A favorite of mine for the summer, especially, is my Warm Soul MAC Bake Bronzer. Is my Warm Soul MAC Bake Is my Warm Soul MAC Baked Blush? Going with another favorite lately. It's been my Morphe 530 brush. Before I work on the eyes, I'm gonna use this little sample that I have. It is the, I wanna call it Erin, Rose Lip Conditioner. And I'm trying to make this last as long as I can, so I just need a beady, 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 Okay, that's it. Because while I'm doing my eyes, it kind of conditions my lips. Mm. Ooh, baby. So I'm gonna be using my Ombrezy palette. Hey, I'm gonna go in with New Yorker. New Yorker. New Yorker. Having a Philly accent, trying to do a New York accent. It isn't really working for me. So I'm just taking this big ass brush with that shade New Yorker, New Yorker, into my crease. So I'm on vacation, I'm being messy. I wanna get out the door. Oh. So I'm just gonna sweep a transition shade in my crease, something that matches my bronzer. You could go in with your bronzer. I just wanted to use this whole palette because I really like the shades and I haven't played much around with it. I've only used it one other time to do a pink look on my Instagram, which you should check out. My username. A little bit. Damn, my creases. They're getting worse by the minute, to be honest. Hmm. That's okay. That's okay. We'll try another method another day, Ashley. It's only makeup. It really is only makeup. It's all good. I'm not going anywhere anyway. It's not like I'll be in Miami on a beach enjoying myself with a pina colada or Miami Vice or just tequila on the rocks with a lime. What I really want to do now is I really want to take Gorgina or Gorgina. I'd like to call it Gorgina. Gorgina? and <laughs> it's probably Gorgina and uh, Dragon and mix these two. This is like a nice orangey yellow gold, like real gold. And then Gorgina is a uh, nice bronzy. But I wanna mix them because I did it on the back of my hand and it looked really pretty. So this palette actually came with a brush. Duo ended brush, fluffy brush. I'm gonna use this side to try to mix those two colors together, those two shimmer colors. I'll go with Gorgina first. Now I'm going in with Dragon. I'm gonna go in with that blender side. I really wanna pull the shimmer up into my crease so it just looks more effortless and more seamless. I think that's so pretty. Okay, other eye. I'm gonna take this brush because it's a little bit smaller than the other big blending brush that I tried to go underneath my eyes with. I'll go in with New Yorker. I sound like an idiot saying it like that. New Yorker. Do it. I'm Rob, sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Go 
going in with a clean brush. This is a Morphe M441. And I am just going to try my best to give a light hand and blend that the out. I didn't go in with any extra product. I'm just going in with whatever's on the brush and tight lining my lower lash line with the shimmer colors. I just blink my eye into the mascara. Okay, so that's one coat. Oh. Okay, one coat of mascara. Pop it back into the tube. Pull it back out. Take off all the extra stuff on like the tip of the wand. I'm gonna let it air out again. Go in with a second coat and go in with a third coat. Now, I'm regular degular. Normally I would just call this a day, but because I was supposed to be in Miami, your girl wants to get a little extra. She wants to, her lashes, okay, okay? I would probably go in with natural eyelashes. But maybe we'll do something more extravagant. We'll go in with Ardell Wissies instead. <laughs> so what I ended up doing was I put on just the Ardell Natural lashes, the Ardell 110s. Um, put that on my eye. I took a couple of shades out of the Amrezy palette, the flat top eye brush. I used BK and 1998. I just mixed them together and I tight lined my upper uh, lash line. Oh, there's a dog hair on that. So I'm gonna do the other eye. And then we'll go on to the brows, the lips, and a little bit of highlighter. Mm, we getting juicy here. We're getting saucy. I'm gonna take my Kush Milk, my Kush Milk uh, fiber gel. I'm just pushing product up through them, filling them in a little bit more with this product. My friends would have been yelling at me by now saying, You better get in here, Uber's here. But it's my birthday, bitch. I'm gonna go in, this has quickly become my favorite, the Milani Most Natural Lip Liner. Then I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Gloss in Fussy, she Fussy, and just touch the middle. Nice and pink. I had a Kylie gloss that I would have loved to use. I just lost it though. And it has gold reflex in it, so that would have been nice. I want to go in with my Nicole Guerrero palette. I'm gonna go in with Glow Getter and 143 because they look like they have the most like bronzy, goldy undertones, in my opinion. I'm going to go on my collarbones, the back of my collarbones, oops on my shoulders and on my breasts. They're down there. They're down there somewhere. I'm gonna do my nose, just lightly. I'm gonna do my Cupid's bow. That's cute. Then I'm gonna do my inner corners. I'm taking any old little brush, mixing those two highlighters together just a touch under the arches. So that is it. Yeah, I just threw on this little kimono uh, from my girlfriend's shop. It's shopboldmeetsbasic.com, so check it out. She's got some cute stuff on there. But this is what I would have worn if I was out in Miami. Please like and subscribe. That would make me very happy. Um, and other than that, have a beautiful day. Let me know if you're reading any books, if you have any suggestions on Netflix, if you need to talk, hit me up. Thanks to everybody out in the field helping us. And um, let's stay inside and get back to normal as soon as possible. Bye guys.